I'm Mark Neighbour. We have a pair of Rapettos here. I'm going to pull them apart and see what makes them tick. So we have our Rapetto flats here. They have a little tie at the front too, like the block shoes do. And again, no ends. The block ones are elastic and the Rapetto ones are just, uh, there's, there's no stretch in there. They're a bit stiffer. And these have, like these shoes generally have a, have, you know, the, there's a cheapness about them that you don't get in the block shoes. All right, well apparently this is canvas and this is patent leather, but um, to me, having that canvas backing, that actually looks like the back of vinyl to me. So these shoes, even though they're possibly um, patent leather, they look a lot cheaper. They could have stuck a lining in there that actually looked like a lining rather than just the back of vinyl. Anyway, when I unpick that, you can see that It's literally just a, a cut edge there. And on the inside, yep, nothing. I suppose the grow grain doesn't, it doesn't stretch. It's a really solid trim, so it doesn't stretch. That actually uh, means that the top edge of the shoe doesn't stretch and that the, uh, the tie just creates that tiny little bit of tightness around the top of the foot if you need it. It really is a very fine layer. Of, um, actually it's a knit, it's actually not canvas, that's a, a knitted fabric that's been glued onto the back of those and you can see that that is, you know, it is actually patent. Skeptical as I was, I suppose it's just such a funny finish maybe in this colour as well. Anyway, let's see what's happening inside, so, oh there we go, <laughs> that came undone rather easily. I'm just pulling out the lining. So we've got um, these rather large stitches, about eight millimeters apart. So they've stitched the, this outside edge onto the sole somehow. So what's happened here, this is quite an ingenious construction that the Rapettos have. It's the, the sole is all one layer of leather and they've actually sliced in here, sliced in at an angle and then they, the, um, the upper is stitched in place. So to stitch the, the upper in place, this is held, I have to hold this here, and I'm assuming it's just a machine that puts all of these bits together and sits them in the right position so that you can stitch. And you can see that, well, it's where they've cut in, so they've actually slashed into the leather to this point here, and then the, um, the needle goes through. And you can see that it's one continuous chain chain stitch. So if I pull on that, you can see that it pulls the next one out. So when this is stitched in place, around the back here, the loop of one thread goes around and hooks onto the next thread, which hooks onto the next thread, which hooks onto the next thread. So it's a really like it's really simple construction. But this here is all about the machinery that's used and the um, skill of the technician to make this happen correctly. And then once that's all stitched in place, then they have the little foot, or the little, I mean the heel, the plastic heel, that um, is literally glued in place onto the back of the shoe. And there you have your repetto.